So, yeah, like I said, South Africa um, is a third world country, but we have lots of schools which are um, can compete with other first world country schools. And we have two sort of um, schooling systems in South Africa. We have the, the public schools, which are funded by the government. And even with, within the government schools, there are um, sort of Model C schools, which are classified as... Um, I hope I can get this right. Schools which which were um, sort of during apartheid era had a lot of support. So, and then there's schools which are extremely rural, and um, but are still but they all still fall under government government schools. And then we have the the private schools which fall under the independent examination board. Yeah, so we have public and and government schools, and I think. Yeah, there's just such a range of um, sort of um, children that go to these schools from different backgrounds, and the the private top end schools have everything that you can that you would need in a school, and then there's some areas which are very rural. Kids have no access to to any resources. Often their um, actual physical facilities are in a shocking state. They don't have classrooms. Um, they won't have any running water or toilet facilities and for kids to try and learn in an environment like this is extremely challenging and I think that's where um, like our resources have the potential to make the biggest biggest impact um, but and that's also why we have focused a lot on, on print resources because a lot of these schools don't have any internet access um, and these kids are actually accessing our content individually um, over their, their mobile phones, which is what a lot of them do, even in the rural areas. But the actual print resources um, are still invaluable in these, these sort of um, learning contexts. A lot of these schools just don't have any resources at all, so it's not, not a case of choosing a, a book, like an open resource, because it's free, as opposed to and a publishing house textbook, but it's just the fact that they just had no resources to start with or couldn't afford anything. Um, so just that alone is actually providing a resource that they can now draw on, that the teachers can actually draw on. Um, and that would be the, the teacher's guide plus, uh, plus the, the learner's books that, that we've provided. Um, and yeah, so the so the government has distributed our books to to all government schools, and um, it's well, it's quite tricky for us to to track exactly who's who's received all these books. But we've just received an overwhelming response from learners, particularly like on our Facebook page, and saying that um, you know they never had any resources before, and this has helped them pass their science and maths, and um, so that's been really great. And then. Yeah, we've also, since we've made our content available, um, um, we have mobile sites and then also on a platform called Mixit in South Africa. It's a very popular chat room service um, and especially popular amongst the youth in more rural areas. And it's, it's almost pretty much free. It costs a few cents. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, the subscription per month. And... Our content just comes up as very basic um, text, but yeah, learners we have, I think it's it's over 500,000 learners accessing our content every month um, over mobile and through Mixit. So so that's a huge number and it just shows that um, just this huge number of learners that are accessing it shows that they don't actually have anything else to draw on and that, that they're using their own data on their phones to, accessing, to access maths and science content. And um, yeah, so the, the desire there is to learn and um, yeah, they just have never had any access to other resources before. Yeah. And then there's also the others, um, other end of schools like the more um, top end or even private schools who are also using our resources. Um, and that's also encouraging because they, they have the money to afford a publishing house textbook, but they're choosing to use our resource um, because they trust it, they've come to know us. And that's encouraging for us to know that our resources are of um, a higher quality. And they're also more likely to um, 
to adapt the resources themselves and, and work with them. And, and that's been interesting to actually deal with, with some of the teachers and volunteers who are starting to do that themselves.